Jake, have you considered defending what you have instead of what you might someday own? Nope. Gotta think big around here. Think big or go home. It's like Dungeon Keeper, right? You set out to get as much land as possible, then you reinforce it, then you deal with what you've got. You make the biggest training room you have, massive workshops so you can sustain your own economy based on traps. I think Max would love that trap-based economy. Don't know why. Oh, crumbs. Is there a way to reduce map panning speed? So fast I can't get everything done. Oh. The big red. Alright. I mean, now we have most of it done, which feels good. Except this is as far as we got before the uh, our rude friends decided to start mincing my guns. Most of that done, I can't even finish it until I have the rest of my uh, my ammunition. Mind you, I would get quite a bit of ammo from grabbing you guys, but until I have my perimeter completely done, there's no point tearing down the defenses I already have. What I could do, now that all this is happening, is have a lot more ammo produced automatically. I have quite a bit of it. This might even be enough to finish off my defenses, but it's still always good to have more. Especially when I have tons of these assembly machines. Kai already had some. Figure these medium things would capture a bit more everything, but I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, you have plenty coming in. Oh, and now that these things carry double, I don't even need two of you. Man, with that kind of research, you can re-optimize everything so much. Great. Uh, so what am I looking for here? Ammo. Tons and tons of ammo, please. Just whack it out onto this. And you will throw it in there. It's an iron chest, but what if you were a steel chest? Seems only natural to have that for personal protection. Yeah. So in somebody's infinite wisdom, should you also mass produce pylons? That I'd like to know. Also. I really chewed through my auto guns, didn't I? How are we doing for resources? Still have a good chunk of this. And, okay, copper is just not used by me. This is all slowed down for the right-ish reasons. 
Yeah, it's also good to know that just by switching this up, I could vastly inject uh, iron into this. The sprockets are backing out the wall, which is good. Still a reasonable amount of iron ore. Tons of stone. Uh, they'll run out of it soon enough. In fact, uh, a couple of them have already depleted. That's okay. Some might say it's even what's been planned. <laughs> I do like the way all this is running. Bit of a mesh mash with the fast and the slow belts. Ah, but as long as I have tons of stone, we're good. Your research is stuck, Jake. Lack of greens. Because of a lack of arms, because of a lack of uh, those, because of a lack of the copper wire, because this was reversed at some point. Well, easily sorted. I was probably mashing buttons when I was looking at that tile and accidentally hit R. That's something I would do. There we go. That also explains why my sprockets were uh, backing out the door. They weren't even getting used properly. Oh, that probably also explains why the iron was backing up. Hmm. Okay, so maybe the times are not as good as I thought. Well, we'll give that time to sort itself out as I sort out our defenses. which I could probably best start off with just clearing the way. Was I caring about the greenery earlier? Because now it just gets in my way. I have so many grenades, I laugh at the prospect of using so many of them. Did a fair bit of damage to my armor. Nothing worth worrying about, though. I mean, what is ever worth worrying about? Also, I'm not convinced grenades would do that much damage against trees, really. Ugh, I really like this forest. It gives it such a great opening into my uh, my domain. Question, do trees repair themselves? Let's get an answer on that. Sixteen out of fifteen. Seventeen, yes they do, excellent. Die. Ooh, okay. Don't want to break these, even if I have plenty of them. Alright, the trees can repair themselves. As for these things... Zoopy zoop. Alright, now I've researched just about everything that I can. Durable. Do you have your train running? Of course I do. Don't worry, I'm not going to do something as stupid as get run over by my own train. Alright, so, not, not echoing our past mistakes, we should place it and then fill it, even if it's a pain to do it that way. It is a right pain to do it that way. It's just so manual. Also, I lack a couple of gates here. And I don't have the circuits to do so. And that requires iron that I simply don't have. 
I mean, even if they came through this way, they would get shot to ribbons, but I can't really guarantee that, can I? Not foolish enough to get run over by my own train. I always used to rush lasers and built barely any bullet-based turrets, but they remove they move them way up the tech tree now, and that's why I gotta rely on bullets. Although I hear that uh, lasers eat tons of uh, tons of energy anyway. It's okay. There's something kind of nice about filling these enos with lead. Leave a gun out here for somebody else to care about. Oh, that made me pick it up, didn't it? Did it? No, it's still there. Awesome. Oh, I'm going to feel so cozy when this is all up and running. At least until the Xenos come and effortlessly destroy it. So what kind of anti-frustration mechanic does the game have? Let's say the Xenos broke through and started trashing your stuff. I mean, would they stop trashing your stuff after a short while? How does it stop you from just rage quitting? Okay, I'm going to have to investigate and see what happened to that wall. Uh, up from the biggest bulge there is. Alright. It would also help if I finished off my wall, right? Ah, we can do that in one big one or once this is done. At least with the guns down, I don't have to worry about defense that much. At least not from the south. The south won't rise again. Hell, they never attack from this side. I'll just plunk them down as I used to. have enough ammo for all these guys? I haven't even thought about how to slice these up to YouTube. Oh, and that reminds me. Don't mind me, don't mind me. I was just busy with something earlier. What I'd done, well, I was going to put a video live, but uh, YouTube was taking forever about it. So maybe it works now. There's no guarantee about it. Just enjoy the music passing by. <laughs> Excellent. Hopefully that works. I'm not going to bother if it does or doesn't. Just putting a video live that I couldn't earlier because YouTube and Twitch together didn't really like me. Great. And if you're watching either this or that on YouTube, then, I don't know, maybe it's too meta. But I am certain I'm about to run out of bullets here. I can only do eight more of these things. And not particularly well. Well, I have an emergency resource of bullets that I use for my own gun. I 
thing is, YouTube calls me out on uh, on songs and demonetizes me and whatever, and that's fine. I don't mind being demonetized. What I mind a lot is when the video itself gets completely blocked, and that happens sometimes. All right, excellent. Only thing I really have left to do is finish off my giant wall. Do you blame them after the Minecraft stream, says Lucky? Don't think I am in the position to blame anybody after the Minecraft stream. You know, might as well do this while I'm walking up here anyway. that are so just off if only I had my thrust master with me he'd set this whole thing to whoa weird oh this is a way to do it that's the braking technology that we figured out For this to seal off, and it's sealed off. Excellent. It's also sealed me out. And they are attacking up there again. You've used a lot of your bullets already, Sunshine. I need to put. Hmm. Hmm. I'm a bit worried about that, actually. How's my train looking? That'll be fine. Whew. So I can deconstruct a lot of the... Uh, well, let's not do daft things here. Let's actually drive around the perimeter. I can deconstruct a lot of the defenses I had internally. It's not a big deal, certainly not while it's night time. I need to go and check on that wall though. I also really need to increase the amount of energy output I have here. In those boilers. You've clearly not played enough Euro Truck Simulator lately, Jake. I think everybody knows that and can agree with that including myself. Alright, munitions. It's more like it. My car should always have plenty of munitions inside it. If only I didn't blow up the old one. Let's go investigate the wall to the north then. What's been going on here, sunshines? where I saw a dot of red there, but... Interesting. Oh, they did almost nothing to this wall. But it highlights the fact that this is quite the contested area, so gathunk, gathunk, and we'll give you guys a hundred. hundred a pop, because God knows what's out there. 
Alright, excellent. If I build a gate, then this whole place is sealed off. Then I need to get some... Oh... I mean, I probably drove into this, but... Yeah... It was probably me. Also, this bothers me a little. Okay, the question is, what now? Production seems to be going great. I have nothing to research until I start going for the next... Um, the next what's it. I hate to lose all those automators, so maybe I shouldn't destroy that so quickly. Maybe it's time to go north and deal with the problem at the source. That's a good-ish idea. But maybe there's something I should advance to help me with that? Is that all? I wish the mini-map I had would give me some more useful information. Like, I want to see where all my drones are easier. So we to zoom in on it? No. Actually, are there any hotkeys to zoom in on the minimap? Like plus or minus? No. Just figured someone here would know a bit better than me. It's usually the case. Oil means napalm, Jake. Get the napalm. Roger. Just feels good to have everything so safe here. And I think I did that at just the right moment as well. Because now, clearly, I'm doing just the right amount of pollution. That everybody wants me dead. I mean, I don't want me dead, but they do. Couple more and we're good. Excellent, we've demilitarized the inside. Now about that gate, I need the circuits. And plenty of circuits right here just waiting for me. Might as well pick up some cogs while I'm at it. I like having cogs. The blue potion, the green potions are flowing, which is also good. I have a lot of stone that I don't need and I'll dump those off in the stone graveyard. Ah, yes. I like to think I won't be needing all of those, but when do you ever really know? <laughs> okay, what now? Is the Hadrian Wall complete, keeping the English and the Irish bugs outside? I like the sentiment, and yes. With one small exception. Even when you wall off the Irish, occasionally you need some Guinness. I don't actually drink Guinness, I think it's the vilest concoction around when it comes to alcohol. I mean, actually, I can't think of anything I despise more, but... I mean, Guinness, not alcohol in general. God, no. Uh, I'll just get out and do it manually here. Occasionally, you need your Guinness. There we go. That 
gives us a port of ingress and egress. So, like I said before, what now? Yeah, wish I had an answer to that. Um, securing oil is a possibility. If I get oil, I can start advancing further, because I think I need uh, solid fuel, which is made in the thingamajigger. Chemical plant. Light oil, gas, heavy oil. Do you get it all from the same thing? Whatever the case, it's... Oh man, I have so much stuff here now. All this stuff that I researched but didn't end up building. I, lo I lack a lot of basic stuff here. Alright, so we get attacked around here. Okay, one thing I do want to do before all that is set up some radars along the proximity here. Because I don't like how blank I am and a lot of information here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them should do. That means I need a lot of long telephone poles. All right, good, good. Keep yourself busy. Copper plates and steel plates. Heavens knows we have plenty of those. Where's my car? All right, I can leave it there. That's fine. Getting around here doesn't take too long. Wow. I have a lot of this stuff, but I can't help but feel I'm going to need a lot more. So... So good. Let's make some steel chests out of you. Just as maybe planned. I mean, eventually they'll get full, right? That's overkill, but eventually they'll get done, right? Okay. Grab your gun. Create some orphaned aliens. Yeah. What do I need to make better bullets? Because I want to equip myself with those. Regular magazine plus steel plate and copper plates. Mm, really infringing on Boiler Town here. should have more of these set up because I'm going to need it. No, I said I'd go uh, for a lot of um, a lot of oh yeah, now I remember one of those things that I put, on, put down ages ago I wanted to make loads of solar panels I need a ton of electric circuits, steel plates and copper plates hmm interesting it's an idea, but okay, one step at a time. First off, wire up and radar the perimeter. Which means I need a bunch of radars. I only have one. need a bunch more. 
What do I need to make you? And I was looking at it just moments ago, but I've already forgotten. It's a combat thing for some reason. Sprockets, iron plates, electrical circuits. Fortunately, I have all those in abundance around here. Even sprockets, right? Oh, oh, right here as well. Great. Yeah, let's make a whole bunch of them. We're longer than we are tall, so I can have four, four and another one, two. But that doesn't mean diddly if I don't have the telephone poles to provide them. So large telephone poles. I'm going to need a lot of them, and it's all just steel plates and copper plates. They don't take long to make. What was that? Yeah, steel plates and copper plates. So go to the Copper Emporium. No, don't need the coal, thanks. Okay, but I don't think that's the problem. It's my lack of steel plates, but we know where we can get those. Solar panels, sounds so green, Jake. I don't like having to rely on coal because coal will run out. Remember when this coal mine was, what was it, 600k or 500k? Well, now it's 432k. It will run out, and I don't even know of other coal. And when the coal runs out, production halts. I run out of electricity as well. That's the main one, running out of electricity. So I need that not to happen. Then I don't get ammunition for my guns. So yeah, it's a race against the clock. Not a particularly agonizing race, but a race nonetheless. Let's make, uh, let's just make as many of these as we can. And then ditch, uh, like, I don't know, most of our steel. And then I can put back a lot of my auto guns. Hell, I can just get rid of all my auto guns. This is done and done right. Hmm. Do damaged ones. Damaged ones take up their own stock or their own something? I understand not. Okay, I probably have more ammunition here than I really need, so I can ditch okay, all of it, why not? Loads of stones as well, got to ditch those. I might want to research something, I can't. Everything possible to research with my current technology has been researched. So, loads of telephone poles, loads of radar stations, let's go and thunk them down so I understand the surrounding area and also maybe throw my spare stones somewhere? Is there any point whatsoever in collecting stones in this game? Other than terraforming, because I've seen that. Not seeing it, so let's just be happy with what we've got. So grab our car, let's not get run over either. That means, well, I mean, we've already brought a uh, telephone pole to the perimeter. Just got to follow it. It's all right, we have a repair kit. It's all right, we have a repair kit. We still have that repair kit. the insight to make a load of these. Is 
It's all right. Tenacity always wins, baby. Always wins. I mean, I can just do this all the way around and then. Uh... Ah, it doesn't need to be that neat and tidy, does it? Ooh. One of us is going to regret being here, Stone. Right, that's that's my own thing. Let's not let's not run it over. At least not until it double crosses us. <sighs> I think this game is designed to make you hate nature. This is this is only the first uh, round we got to do. We also have to place the actual um, the actual satellites or radars. I swear somebody told me when you play this game, you're gonna find that trees are your worst enemy. So maybe you are right there. Losing a lot of visual at this rate. Hmm. These I can place down with a bit more manual manual touch. Oh no, it's trains are your worst enemy, that's what they said. Okay, excellent. Now I just gotta place down my radars and everything is fine. Question is where? I've already got you here. Given your range actually, if I thunk one down here and there I should be good. Yeah, I don't think I found myself limited in res uh, in research. It's all been resources. All right. Find what's out there, please. So how fast does it does it work instantly? That was fast. 
Nice. Over to the four corners of my kingdom. be okay just with the corners here. We'll see how it lines up. To my satisfaction. Oh, this is good. I think I'm going to celebrate by making some armor-piercing bullets and killing some Xeno scum. How long have we been at this? Five and a half hours! Oh, time well spent. Have you been having fun with this game? A lot. I'm still just here to uh, launch my rocket into space, though. Don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, we've got a lot better coverage now. Ah, boy, there have been a lot of them trying to get in. Our guns have been busy. Glad we masked them there. Is that more of them? Oh, they're getting big now. Medium biter. Small biters, spitters, okay, basically get some, we're going to need a bigger gun I think. Crude oil, do I go for this or not? And do I go for that or do I go for this? I mean I could extend my wall to eat up this, it's a lot more guns and a lot more defense but uh, maybe it's a good idea to get a bit of oil going, get some better defenses, I don't know. But yes, the exterminatus comes first, you are right. I really like this. Feels... gives me the dungeon keeper feels. Which is what anybody and everybody is there for, right? Okay. Go for the nearby oil patch first, okay. Make ourselves some super bullets, kill some Xenos. Do I have my gates? I want a few of them. Then I'll carve my exit out. So thinking about it, this is where the bullets are made. And to make super bullets, I need copper plates and steel plates, which is a bit difficult because my steel production is over here. My copper is pretty much everywhere. Hmm. But really, all bullets should become super bullets. Hmm. I'm glad we have so many, uh, so many engines here. Hmm. I bet when my labs get up and on the go, energy will not suffice. But I need to get those uh, solar panels going, and we know what we need for those. What if I just took a vast amount of these? Because it doesn't take a lot. It takes one steel plate. I could just set up a huge amount of them. Right here. And how it would work is... Um...
Yep, I got it. So they're all going over here, which is good. I'm going to set up one more of you guys right there. And you're going to be double fed. Uh, doesn't solve my copper issue. I mean, I have a few ways that I can solve that, so no biggie. You always get from the further one, right? No. You place on the further you take from the nearer, that's right. This is probably horrifically inefficient. So you only need to be a regular old guy because you are making me super bullets. And you also take a while to make them, damn. And you can just shove them into another massive chest. There we go. Now we have production for super bullets. It's going to take a while, but eh. But I should still have somewhere raking in the regular bullets, so... There we go. Otherwise, what am I meant to do with all these bullets? And if this is just full of rounds, that's fine for me as well. Okay. Jake, is this your first time playing Factorio? Yes, it is. And really, I'm kind of proud of what I've made. Give myself lots of space to work with. Highly defended land. Raking the earth clean. Okay, no wonder this is clean, because I have more coal than I know what to do with. At least my train is doing good. Wait, how can I check your capacity? Or do you just not tell me that? Ah, no, you're 330. It'd be nice if these told me if they were up to capacity. But I'm just assuming they are. Everything, Everything's great when it comes to coal. That's good to know. Very good to know. Man, I don't even feel tired. This game has some bad magic. Build a second train to get ahead of the Zeno's biological arms race. Oh, speaking of the Zeno's, more came, more died. They're chipping away at my walls, and they're chipping away at our ammo counters here. Damn, I do not want to have to set up an ammo conveyor belt. Alright, what I should do then is grab my awesome armor-piercing rounds. Mm, don't have a lot of them, but that's like 330 bullets, so it should be plenty, right? Why is this so slow? Can I make some modules that make it faster? Speed module... Okay, they all need advanced circuits. Advanced circuits need plastic. Plastic requires oil. I'm still going to take these bullets and uh, make some Zeno orphans. Possibly with my car. Probably with my car. My car that I should make sure is completely uh, tanked up. Also, let's save our game because we haven't saved in ages. I'd hate for the game to crash or something. After all, it's in early access. I'm not bitter, I'm just really bitter. Also, while I'm here, I got rid of all my gun turrets, right? Still, though. 
those bullets of mine. Uh, no, I'm looking for right click. Incredible the amount these guys demand. And I guess this will be my ticket out of here. I'll line you up with the armor piercers. Car to avenge. Car. What the heck was that? I thought I turned that off. In fact, I'm a million percent sure I'm turned that off. So where did it pop up? What a mystery. Oh well, let's just hope nobody else subscribes. No, really, what caused that? Does Streamlabs itself make the noise? Alright, I've muted it, so hopefully it doesn't do that again. We're not playing Minecraft here. Yeah, where are my bullets again? There we go. Alright, revenge o'clock. Where are the scumbags? Here they are. Well, maybe I shouldn't be doing this at night time. the smell of roast orphans in the morning. Any more for any more? That guy was trying to avenge his whole clan. Oh nice, we lights there so I know what way is back home. You did good. Hell, you did great. Let me fix you back up, car. I mean, that was good, but how would we like to kill more Xenos? I wish it was daytime so I could admire my handiwork. <laughs> nice. Still, that's where the stone is. Uranium, more stone, iron, loads of Zeno scum, a larger load of oil, and then a much larger load of oil. Oh, coal! 1.1 million coal! Right, I see. So the, um, the radar gives you super information on close area and then vague information on a much further area. As well as what you've explored, I suppose. Hey Zergal, could you confirm that the uh, video is actually working properly? Because I couldn't be sure if it was. Alright, another attack. Wow, wow, please, I have a family. That's what you guys sound like. Oh, crumbs! Out of ammo. There we go, it's not the best ammo, but it's still ammo. <laughs> Alright, let's do some quick tickery boo. The audio is very off, Jake. Ah, man. That's YouTube's automatic song removal. It's not the best. Some could even say it's the worst.
got to focus fire on one of these guys because I know they automatically... Oh, crumbs! You'll never take me alive, Zeno scum! Don't think they plan to. Alright, we got our revenge. It's just right over their, uh, their pathetic corpses. Oh, ooh. Alright, let's, let's fix our car while we're here. Didn't I have another one? No, it's just done. Okay. Ah, I'll sort the audio later. Okay. Well, with that done, we now need the oil. So let's go and expand our holdings. Although I'm going to want more gates, right? You know, to actually be able to leave this place. Which means I just need the steel plates that I got rid of. The alien projectiles look very slow. I think they're heat-seeking. Can't be sure on that one. Just felt like they are. Where's all that steel of mine? I need a... need a wee bit of that for all these gates that I want to make. Fairly chewed through my ammo doing that though. Guess it's okay. Now the oil. Time to liberate. So I don't know anything about uh, oil in this game. How do I get it? How do I extract it? Perhaps I should consult my production. Mining offshore pump, pump jack. Pump fluid from a body of water sounds pretty good. This doesn't really tell me anything. Chemical plant? I just don't know. Oil refinery seems like something I'm going to need. Pick up some improved ammo, Jake. I already did. I spent it all. I'm going to give it some time to actually uh, replenish. I should have put in the title first look at Factorio. Everybody's asking me if this is my first time. Pump jacks, refinery, storage. Pump jacks, plural? I mean, how many of these things am I going to need? Whatever the case, I get the feeling I don't have... Uh, I guess I'll make what I need first. Even if I make too many, I'm sure I can put them to use later on. So, what do I need for all this stuff that I want? Also, lovely. But I wish this chest weren't so wooden. What if it were made of fire? Hmm. Okay, so what am I looking at? Pump jacks. Steel? I have some steel. Could probably do with more. Hell, I think I'm always going to be in the need of more steel. It's a good thing I'm producing so much of it. I dumped a lot of it over here for my... Uh... You know what I could also do with more of? Lights. I don't use enough of them. Makes it a lot easier to see my way around here at night time. Night time is a great time to put that to the test. I don't think lights make pollution. That wouldn't make sense. It's not like light pollution is a thing. 